Hello students, today let us start a new topic of triangles. The topic is criteria of similar triangles. We know that two triangles are similar if their number one is corresponding angles are equal and number two corresponding sides are proportional. Okay, so let us discuss this in triangle ABC and triangle DF. So let us, let us take two triangles ABC and triangle DF. Here in this two figure you can see that angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F and also about the sides AB by DE is equal to BC by EF and is which is also equal to AC by DF okay so then if these two cases are satisfied then we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF now here symbolically we can write triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. We read it as triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. This symbol stands for is similar to. Okay. Now students here we have to be very careful about the correspondence. Here the name the correspondence means the naming of the triangle uh, in both the cases should be correct. For example here we can write triangle ABC is similar to triangle DF but here we cannot write triangle ABC is similar to triangle EDF why because angle A is not equal to angle E that means the correspondence of A is not E and again angle B is not equal to angle D also student triangle ABC is not similar to triangle FED as you can see because the correspondence of a is not F that is angle A is not equal to angle F and the correspondence of angle C is not is angle D okay but we can write you can see in this figure triangle BAC is similar to triangle EDF because angle B is equal to angle E and angle A equal to is equal to angle D okay similarly we can write triangle CBA is similar to triangle FED because correspondence of angle C is angle F and the correspondence of angle B is angle E and the correspondence of angle A is angle D. Now let us discuss about the different criteria for which the two triangles are similar. Right, students let us take the first theorem. The first theorem as you can see that we have written if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal then the corresponding sides are in proportion and if it is so then the two triangles are similar and this criteria of similarity is known as AAA or angle 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 similarity of two triangles okay so to understand this let us draw two triangles triangle ABC and triangle DEF all right so here if in this two triangle angle A is equal to angle D angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F then according to the theorem AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to AC by DF and if here you see the both the condition of the angles and the sides are satisfied so hence the two triangles are similar these two triangles are similar by the criteria called angle 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 a a a similarity criteria all right students let us discuss one important point all right here it is always not necessary that we will always show that the three angles of each triangles are equal if somehow we can show that two angles of one triangle is equal to the two angles of another triangles then also the two triangles are similar here the criteria will be known as angle angle similarity we can say that this is the shorter form of angle 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 similarity to understand this let us draw two triangles triangle abc and triangle df okay let us take the two angles of both the triangles are equal for example we have taken angle a is equal to angle d angle a is 70 degree angle d is also 70 degree we take angle B is equal to angle E which is equal to 60 degree. Now we have to say whether the, these two triangles are similar or not. How can we say? We have to find the third angle of each triangle. 
एंगल सी इज हाउ मच वन एटी डिग्री माइनस सेवेंटी प्लस सिक्सटी डिग्री विच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी डिग्री सिमिलरली एंगल एफ इज इक्वल टू इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू फिफ्टी डिग्री सिमिलरली एंगल एफ इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू फिफ्टी डिग्री हेन्स द टू ट्राइंगल्स आर सिमिलर बाई एंगल 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 एक्चुअली वी हैव यूज एंगल एंगल सिमिलर टू वी हैव टेकन द टू एंगल्स ऑफ पीस ट्राइंगल्स आर इक्वल हेन्स इट इज सफिशियंट टू शो द If two angles of one triangle are respectively equal to the two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. This criteria is known as angle-angle similarity. Now, students, let us discuss the second theorem. In the second theorem, if in two triangles sides of one triangles are proportional to the sides of other triangle, then the course their corresponding angles are Equal and hence the two triangles are similar, which you can see here. This criteria is known as SSS or side 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 criteria. All right, students. So to discuss this, let us take two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF, as you can see that AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to AC by DF. And and if this is so. then angle a is equal to angle d angle b is equal to angle e and angle c is equal to angle f here two conditions about the sides and the angles are satisfied hence the two triangles are similar this criteria of similarity is known as sss criteria all right students now students let us discuss the third theorem it states that if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle and the sides including these angles are proportional then the two triangles are similar as you can see in the figure now this criteria is known as sas criteria or side angle side criteria so let us discuss in the figure here we have taken triangle abc and triangle def all right so here as you can see that angle a is equal to angle d and there and there are surrounding sides a by de is equal to ac by df all right students here you can see that in the figure angle a is surrounded by the sides ab and ac and angle d is also surrounded by the sides de and df so here we must have ab by de is equal to ac by df this similarity criteria is known as s a s or side angle side similarity criteria most important thing is that or important part what we have to remember always is that the angle in each triangle must be included between the two sides of each triangle let us finish with a sum all right students so students here we have taken a question here in triangle abc and triangle pqr the measurements are given as you can see ab is equal to 2 unit bc equal to 2.5 unit ac equal to 3 unit pq is 6 unit qr is 4 unit and pr is 5 unit you can see in the figure now here the question is we have to say whether these two triangles are similar or not if they are similar then by which criteria they are similar and if, if this is so then in the simplified form we have to write so here let us find the ratio of the sides Here you have to be very careful while finding the ratio because here nothing is given about the angle, so we have to say about the sides. Here you can see that AB by QR is how much? Two by four, which is equal to half. If we simplify, then again BC by PR is two point five by five, which is also equal to half. Then one more ratio is left. What is that? AC by PQ. Then which is equal to three by six. If we simplify, it is also equal to half. Got it. So here the ratio of the sides are equal. That is, sides we can say that AB by QR is equal to BC by PR, which is also equal to AC by PQ. So here, student, the two triangles are similar by SSS criteria. Now, question is how we can write them in the symbolic form. Here you can see that the corresponding sides of AB is QR and the corresponding side of BC is PR. And the corresponding side of AC is PQ, which is clearly visible here in the triangle ABC. So let us draw the two triangles. Here we are not going to change the order of triangle ABC. 
ABC will remain same, but we will change the order of the triangle PQR. Now you can see, as you can see that the correspondence of AB is QR, correspondence of BC is RP, correspondence of AC is QP. So accordingly, the two triangles are drawn. So here we can say the triangle. Now question is how will write in the simple form? So here we can say that triangle AB is similar to triangle QRP. Alright students, so please practice this type of sum today after this much.